Did you know that Canada has more lakes than the rest of the world combined? That's right. Canada is the reigning champion when it comes to these natural aquatic beauties, housing over two million lakes within its borders. That's more than all other countries in the world combined. Imagine that. Let's take a moment to appreciate some of the most renowned amongst these. Nestled in the heart of Banff National Park in Alberta, we have the exquisite Lake Louise, with its turquoise waters set against the backdrop of majestic peaks, a sight to behold indeed. And then there's Lake Ontario, one of the five great lakes of North America, straddling the Canada-US border, a testament to the grandeur that water bodies can offer. From the smallest pond to the largest lake, each is a world in its own right, teeming with life and offering a unique spectacle of nature's splendor. Now that's a lot of water. Ever wondered why Canada is often referred to as the Great White North? Well, let's break it down. Firstly, the white in the nickname is a nod to the long, harsh winters that can transform the country into a snowy wonderland. The north part is quite literal. Canada, being the second largest country in the world, is located in the northern part of the continent, well above the equator. It stretches from the Atlantic to the Pacific and right up into the Arctic Ocean. What's more, Canada also claims the magnetic North Pole, granting it a unique spot on the globe. The great part is simply a testament to its vastness. From its sprawling landscapes of untouched wilderness to its bustling multicultural cities, Canada is indeed great. So when we say the Great White North, we really do mean it. If you're a nature lover, Canada might just be your paradise. Picture an expanse of land that covers over half of the country, untamed and brimming with life. This is the Canadian wilderness, a testament to nature's grandeur. Framed by the sprawling Arctic tundra in the north and the verdant forests in the south, the wilderness of Canada is a mosaic of diverse ecosystems. From the rugged, rocky landscapes of the Canadian Shield to the lush wetlands of the boreal forest, the wilderness of Canada is as diverse as it is vast. In this untamed wilderness, life thrives in abundance. It's a place where you can encounter the mighty moose, the largest member of the deer family, basking in the sun by a serene lake. It's where you can witness the breathtaking sight of bears, both black and grizzly, foraging for food or teaching their young to climb trees. And if you're lucky, you might even hear the distant howl of a wolf pack under the moonlit sky, a sound that embodies the spirit of the wild. The wilderness is also home to Canada's renowned national parks. Banff, nestled in the heart of the Rocky Mountains, is a spectacle of turquoise glacial lakes and snow-capped peaks. Meanwhile, Jasper, the largest national park in the Canadian Rockies, is a realm of pristine wilderness and abundant wildlife. Here you can embark on an adventure amidst the emerald valleys, towering mountains and ancient glaciers, following the trails blazed by wildlife and the indigenous peoples before us. But the wilderness is more than just a home for wildlife. It's a sanctuary for the human soul, a place where we can reconnect with nature and find solace in its tranquility. It's an open-air classroom where every tree, every rock and every creature has a story to tell, teaching us about resilience, adaptation and the intricate web of life. It's safe to say, Canada is a haven for wildlife and nature enthusiasts. So, whether you're a seasoned adventurer or a casual observer, the Canadian wilderness awaits, promising a journey of discovery, wonder and awe. Ever heard of poutine? Well, in Canada, it's more than just a dish. This culinary masterpiece, a hearty blend of fries, gravy and cheese curds, has its roots deep in the heart of Quebec. It's a dish that exudes comfort, warmth and a sense of home. Poutine was born in the 1950s and like many great creations, its origin story is a bit of a mystery. Some say it was invented by Fernand Lachance, a restaurant owner who, when asked to add cheese curds to a customer's fries, exclaimed, that's going to make a dreadful mess. Little did he know, he was on the brink of creating a national treasure. Today, poutine is a symbol of Canadian culture, a testament to the country's love for simple yet soulful food. From fast food joints to high-end restaurants, this dish has found a place in every Canadian's heart and plate. So, if you're ever in Canada, don't forget to try this local delicacy. Canada isn't just about nature and food, it's also about the people. 
The people of Canada paint a vibrant mosaic of cultures, and it's this diversity that makes the country one of the most multicultural on the globe. From the far-reaching corners of the planet, individuals have flocked to Canada, weaving their unique traditions and customs into the social fabric. This multiculturalism isn't just a statistic, it's a celebration. Take, for instance, the Toronto Caribbean Carnival, a kaleidoscope of music, dance and colour that pays homage to Caribbean culture. Or the Vancouver International Film Festival, where stories from diverse cultures are shared and celebrated on the silver screen. These events are not just for entertainment, they are a testament to Canada's commitment to embracing diversity. Canada's multiculturalism is not merely a characteristic, it's a proud identity. And this identity is echoed in every city, every province, every individual. Indeed, the people are what truly make Canada unique. And there you have it, a glimpse into the fascinating world of Canada. We've journeyed through the sprawling landscapes of the Great White North, ventured deep into the verdant Canadian wilderness, sampled the country's mouth-watering delicacies, and experienced the warm embrace of Canada's multicultural society. This country is a treasure trove of breathtaking sights, unique experiences and rich cultures, and we've only just scratched the surface. Each city, each province and each national park in Canada holds countless untold stories waiting to be discovered. But as we all know, the best way to truly appreciate a place is to experience it firsthand. So whether you're an adventure seeker, a food enthusiast or a culture vulture, Canada has something for you. If you enjoyed learning about Canada and want more travel insights, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more travel information and planning tips coming your way.